They didn't know if they would accomplish what they wanted, but they knew they had to try. 2020 marks the 100th uh, anniversary of the passage of the Women's Suffrage Amendment. Suffrage uh, simply means the right to vote. And so until 1920, women were in Missouri denied the right to vote in any election. Suffrage was a national movement, but many historic moments happened right here in St. Louis. Virginia Minor is one of the women that every person in the United States should know her name, but they don't. But Virginia Minor essentially kicked off the suffrage movement in the in the entire country. Honoring Virginia Minor and the bravery of other women in our city by telling their stories was the motivation behind the Missouri History Museum's new exhibit, Beyond the Ballot, St. Louis and Suffrage. All of, all of the artifacts and all of the sections on this side are really showing that um, even without the vote that women were, were impacting St. Louis and really making a change in the city and really impacting the city. So these two ladies <laughs> are two of my favorites and this is a local photo. Um, they're wearing bloomers, so they're wearing split skirts and they decided back in 1894 that they were gonna take a bicycle tour talking about the evils of corsets. There are graphic novel style illustrations of diverse and influential women along the wall, drawn by local female artist, Rory. The second half dives deeper into the local suffrage story. So that is a sash that is on loan from the State Historical Society of Missouri, and it was worn um, at the Golden Lane Parade. The Golden Lane Parade was unlike any parade you've ever been to. It was completely silent. It was a protest. The women all wore white and held a yellow umbrella, much like the ones you'll see at the entrance. In 1916, the Democratic National Convention was in St. Louis. They thought, we've talked long enough. And so they made this plan where all of the delegates who are coming were staying at the Jefferson Hotel, which is still there, Jefferson Arms Hotel. And then they were going to the convention at the Coliseum, which is basically a straight shot down Locust. So the men ate their breakfast at the Jefferson Hotel and then walked to the Coliseum. And as they were walking, as you can see in this picture, there, was, there were just rows of women just standing there, silent, staring them down. What they were wanting is for the Democrats to put a suffrage plank on the presidential platform. You know, and you think they couldn't vote it in themselves. They had to convince the men to share power. This 6,000 square foot special exhibit shows that St. Louis women led the way to victory. 1910 to 1919, were really the years that, that the suffragists were active in St. Louis and really making things happen. And we put this timeline together to really highlight the growth of the movement. There's nothing women can't accomplish when they do it together. One of the things that they handed out when, when women registered were these little cards that they could hang in their, in the window. And so we've blown it up and actually reproduced them. They were determined and still are. Every woman's story is important. Our vote is important. These women spent over 50 years fighting to give us the right to vote, and we really need to use that right that they got for us. 